最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。哦哦、当强烈的信念让命运都无言，浪漫成了特权，狂喜狂。画我的妆，脸是误会的经典。哦，不要想答案。I haven't even touched you yet.、Huh? What kind of dog bit you? What are you talking about? I was bit by a person. Your sister looks fine for now.、Huh. However, if she shows these symptoms, got it. You must take her back to me. Okay. Keep that in mind. Don't、mm. forget it. And about her medicine, there are instructions there on how、okay. and when she will take yes, them. Yes. Thank、All、you.、Right. You can go. Jungsheng, why are you up? Do you feel okay? Does it still hurt? I'm all right. I barely feel any pain. You sure about that? It's a pretty big wound. Yeah, I'm fine. Jungsheng, listen to me. If you feel dizzy or anything at all, you have to tell me right away. I'll take you to the clinic. I'm serious about this. I have the best medicine there is. I'm sure I'm all right. What medicine is that? My brother's care. Because of it, I'm sure that I'll feel better in no time at all. Dummy. Girls can have scars on their faces. That won't look good. I'm not worried about any scars because if we're ever separated one day. Then you can find me through my scar. It's my signature mark now. <laughs> Jungsheng, we'll never be apart. <laughs> Does it hurt? Don't worry, brother. I'm braver than you think I am. Homan Ho can't scare me. Don't pick any more fights with crazy people like Homan Ho. Don't act so reckless next time, okay? I don't care if I'm bullied, but if anyone bullies you, he's gonna get it. You've already gotten yourself hurt. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> Wait a second. Know what you're doing? Uh, I do. Jungsheng, 
Children of Wei Jiaping. Persimmons are their special snacks. People find this funny sometimes. Because to them, the persimmon is nothing but a common fruit. But life was hard for us. There were only a few persimmons, but a lot of children. So picking persimmons often led to fights. You've had a lot. You'll get a sick stomach. Let us through. And why should I do that? You don't own the forest. Don't be selfish. <laughs> don't be selfish. This forest is first come, first served. <laughs> you came late. That's your fault. So don't put the blame on us. Hey, 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 hey don't. don't. You can't just bully people. Yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? If you want to get your persimmons, you should go carve your names on the trees. And then we won't touch them. I just don't think they have the guts. <laughs> if your names are on the trees, then they're all yours. Otherwise, they're everyone's and anyone can pick yeah, them. Yeah, that's right. Come yeah, on, do it then. Right, right, then. Right, then. Show us what Come you've got. On, Let's see you right. back. <laughs> what a Call your brother for breakfast. Ma? Huh? I didn't see my brother all night. Brother? Brother? Longsheng! Excuse me, have brother. you seen Longsheng? I'm sorry, no. Are you sure? I'm sorry. Brother! Longsheng! Longsheng! You should go carve your names on the trees, and then we won't touch them. I just don't think they have the guts. <laughs> <laughs> if your names are on the trees, then they're all yours. Otherwise, they're everyone's, and anyone can pick them. Yeah, that's right. Come yeah, on, do it then. You chicken. Show us what you got. Since that day, all the persimmons became mine. The mean boys were so stunned when they saw the marks on every tree trunk in the forest.
How will I be able to work with my fingers wrapped like this? Just leave it to me, brother. I'll take care of it. They're small wounds. You don't have to wrap them like that. Your hand won't look good if it had scars. Boys like me don't need delicate hands. Your hands are the ones precious to Mama. Well then, your hands are so precious to me. You need your hands to write and draw with, do some math, water the ginger flower, and to braid my hair. So I have to take care of them. I guess you're right. Of course. Here. Does it still hurt? Not anymore. My new bike! High-end, impressive, and most of all, classy! My papa gave it to me as a gift. Isn't this expensive? Yeah, sure it is. Let's go to school. Okay. Ma, Ma we're, we're off, off now! now. Uh, hey! Jagsheng, you can ride my bike! Wait, why are you guys walking? Wait up! Shung's not Bye. back. Bye. Bye. Ma, we're home. Ma, we're home now. Hey, how was school today? Zhang Shang and I both studied hard. Don't worry. Brother, look. A bike? Yeah. But whose bike is this? Ma. Yes? Ma, whose bike is this? I bought it for you. Liang Shang, go ahead. Wow. Brother, can I try? Wait, let me try it first. I'm so happy we have a bike now. Can you get your feet on the ground? Yes, Ma. That's good. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Pa, we have a bike now. Great. That means that you can use it to take Zhang Sheng to school. Yeah. Right, Zhang Sheng? Let's go home. Mm. <coughs> Ma, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> Did Holman Ho come and bother you again? <coughs> He's a bully. Why won't he just leave us alone? Ma, let me help you. <coughs> Ma, you look tired. I don't want you to get sick. Zhang Shang. You and Liang Shang are my happiness. From that day on, I helped with the house and farm work as much as I can. I thought that if I helped her out then, she would have less gray hair and be much healthier. I want some water.
Zhongsheng? What's wrong? Did someone bully you again? Tell me. Don't you worry about Mama. She's doing fine. You don't care because it's not your mom. It's your mom's fault that my mom is like this. Whose son are you really anyway? When sadness was all Yang Shang and I had left, we realized we had no other choice but to leave Wei Jiaping. It would only remind us of it. Hopefully, with us leaving, the burden we have in our hearts will be left behind. But to leave Wei Jiaping, we needed to study hard. It was the only way. Mail for Zheng Sheng and Zheng Liang Sheng? Sign here. <laughs> oh, your mail. We passed our exams. We made it into university. No, I'm not going. They say college is exhausting. There will be endless exams. I don't want to go through all that trouble. I'm thinking of quitting. What's the point of studying? It's better to work, right? So, it would be better if you go to college and I'll support you. How's that? Definitely not. Where Liangsheng is, so is Jiangsheng. Where Jiangsheng is, so is Liangsheng. But what about tuition? Don't worry about it. We'll apply for student loans. And when I can in the future, I'll give all the poor students a chance to study. Ma? Are you okay? Ma, I've decided I want to stay here with you. Maybe I shouldn't go to college. Why will you give all this up? When you've worked so hard for it. Brother can go to college. His future will be secure. And that's good enough for me. Zhang Sheng, I know life hasn't been easy. But I will support you through college. But if we leave, then... You will be all alone in here. <laughs> Zhang Sheng. While you are still young, you should learn more. 
so you can use them and have a better future. Don't be like me. Leave way jopping. Go and live your life.决定我心里的季节，为你有的纷乱和惨烈，多美的诗篇。最孤独的少年，露出最幸福的欢颜，坚持要用一生的体贴，说一份感谢。我是火焰，烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界。听你许的愿，帮你去实现，生生不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪。让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，比永远更永远。爱也许不是牵手带你到终点，而是该放手送你去转泪点。烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界，让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，不见不散，不变。Our student loans were approved. With the money we earned and the allowances, if we just cut back a little bit. We'll have enough for our transportation, lodgings, and other living expenses. Brother, thanks a lot. You've worked so hard. What? What are you thanking me for? You did a lot of work for Mama this past summer. I didn't even lift a finger back at the house. That was nothing compared to yours. <sighs> Brother, I promise. I'll do my very best so I can get a scholarship. <laughs> Come on. Let's go! Brother? Hmm? You're really taking it with you? Yeah, I'm not used to not having it. I've decided to bring it. Okay. The three of us are going to college, hmm? Hold it! What's he doing here? I have no idea. Hey, what were you talking about? We're going to college. None of your business. None of my business. You two have got to be kidding me. Something's going on. Come on out with it. <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? You two left me out. Left me out just like a gust of wind. You were going to leave me alone in this lonely place. This is intolerable, cruel, and completely unacceptable. From this day on, I'll follow you both wherever. I've decided I'm going to college with you two. Ugh, you're so annoying. Can you even pass the exam? Hey, don't underestimate me. You have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> All right, you two, stop fighting. Hurry up, go home and pack your things. Oh, you guys also get back to packing then. My father will pick you up tomorrow in a car. Oh, really? Sassing me now. I just hope you don't get too used to it. Are you going to college? Go pack. Now listen, this is just the beginning. In the next four years of college, I swear I'll impress the both of you with how high my grades are going to be. Mm -hmm. Are you going or what? See you tomorrow! <laughs> mm. All right then, the four of us are going to college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Liang Shang. Time flies so fast. You'll be going to college now. Don't be sad, Papa. Now don't worry. I promise I'll always come home during holidays. I'm not sad, son. I'm just emotional. Liao Sheng, once you're in the city, it's just you and your sister. Take care of her. I must admit, all these years, I favored you and neglected your sister. The moment that you're in the city, it won't be easy to come back. Pa, don't worry about that. I'll always take good care of her. I won't let anything happen to her. As long as I'm around, Xiang Xiang will have a home. Take it. Eat on the road. Don't starve yourselves. Don't worry, Ma. We'll take care of ourselves. Ma, don't worry. I'll always look after Zhang Sheng. Liang Sheng, just don't forget to take care of yourself, too. I will. Uh, no rush at all, Auntie. Take your time. I wish my dad and I could talk like that. <laughs> just ignore him. Take your time. Just go. Go eat in the car. Come on, let's go. Time to go. Hi, we're going now. Pa, take care of yourself. Bye, Ma. Goodbye, Mama. Also wronged your biological father. The three of you are in university now. You study hard, but have fun too. <laughs> and make the best of your youth. You bet. I'll make the best of it, all right. If you dare to mess around, I'll cut your allowance. Fine, I'll behave, I promise. Uncle Bay, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. Mm. Watch him like a hawk. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look, over there. And that's how it began. Our new life as college students. I was really happy. No one would ever glare at Liang Shang again. And call him someone's bastard son. Son, I'll go pay for your fees. All right, I'll be back. I'll come with you. Huh? Hand me the money, please? Hey, Pa, can you pay for them, too? We want to take a walk around. All right, go for a walk. Thanks, Uncle. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be staying here with you. Hey there, I'm Jin Liang. <laughs> I'm Zhang Shang. Zhang as in ginger and Shang as in grow. <laughs> My name comes from the capital of the six dynasties. <laughs> Which one's your bed? Mm. I'll take this one. Okay. I'm gonna let you set up. Great. Hey, Jin Liang. Hmm? Here. It's an egg from our farm in my hometown. 
Hey, thanks. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. I'll be going now, okay? Uh, hey, Pa, I sure I'm gonna miss you a lot here. Just study hard. <laughs> Bye, Uncle Bay. Go ahead. Is there anything you can't do? You even fix vintage cars. Cut to the chase. Huh? Why are you really here? Uh, so, the uh, thing you asked me to look into, I've got a lead. What'll be our next step? We go home. What else? Sweetheart. Oh, my dear. <laughs> you lost weight. What were you looking for up there? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I remember this. You gave this to me. We kept it from Papa and Grandpa. I was very young then. That's right. Your grandpa just wouldn't allow you to play at all, wouldn't he? In fact, he threatened to fire me if I let you play with anything. <laughs> but how could a kid be happy if you wouldn't let him play? You agree with me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All these toys right here have been locked in this box for the longest time. I was about to organize them when you came in. Your timing was just perfect. They weren't there that long? There's no dust on them. <laughs> All right, but next time, you shouldn't store this box so high. It's dangerous. <sighs> time flies so fast. I've gotten so old now. You're not. Oh, have you seen your grandfather yet? Hmm? Not yet. I came straight to you from the airport. Oh, don't you worry about me. Go on home now, okay? <laughs> now, Tian Yu. I know that face very well. You pulled another trick on your grandpa, huh? And what is it this time? No, 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 I haven't. Hey. Grandpa. <laughs> Sit down. What a surprise. I can't believe you can already cook, huh? <sighs> well, unfortunately, I haven't mastered the art of gourmet. The chef of Jungnam Wok catered for us. <laughs> Besides, it's yours and Tianan's favorite. I still remember. Mm. It seems you had some time. So why didn't you cook yourself? Mm. I went to see Nana first. Right. It's been a while, so you wanted to catch up. And that's all right. As long as they don't end up getting in your way. All right. Enough about those things. Let's dig in. What about Tianin? Hmm. How long will you be staying this time? 
I won't be leaving. Good then. And do you plan on building a movie theater? Not one, but a chain of theaters. You see, our company is expanding to TV and film. I'll transform the company into a dumbbell type of structure. A dumbbell? Real estate, culture, finance, and games. They're like the two ends of a dumbbell. The company will take control of them. And then we'll deliver high quality content. We expect them to grow on both sides. Therefore, creating a complete ecological chain. Mm. That's a good plan. But let me remind you, Sheng Yan's plan was pretty good too. And how'd that go? But I won't be consulting them. Hmm? I've established the company in tech innovation. I still have matters to attend to. Let me finish them first. You're putting it off? This is our family business we're talking about. I know. Well, now that you're back, it might be time to settle down. I'm counting on you to continue the Chung family line. I have a few girls in mind for you. You should meet them. Chairman Shen's daughter from Wanda Group has come back from Switzerland. I can set up a date for you, hmm? I am not interested. Sorry, Grandpa. How much longer are you going to make me wait for you to step up? Grandpa, you live long. <laughs> oh. I can't have too much dinner. <coughs> Take your time then. But don't just eat them all at once now. Remember, chew slowly. You know what? When we were younger, I always wondered when we'd go to college. Time used to feel so slow. Then suddenly it's fast. We're in college now. It feels so unreal. Why do you say that now? When we were still in high school, I remember you were so eager to go to college. You said we'd be less stressed in college and we'd have more free time. But now that we're in college, why does it feel so unreal? All I wanted then was to see the outside world. You're probably not just used to being here yet. He'll be fine soon. Mm -hmm. Mama must be missing us. I think Uncle Bay made a big mistake. He should have made you live on campus, closer to us. A clever hare has more than one hideout. If I didn't get this place, where would you two stay when you move out of the dorms? Shh. Ah. Uh. and I are only here to study. We're not leaving the dorms. Yeah, what he said. I'm only here to study and not leave the dorm. You two are only wasting your time. What do you know about it? Isn't studying hard the number one duty of a student? Mm hmm. Xiao Wu, give this money back to Uncle Bei. But it's for you. Why are you giving it back? No, I don't need it. Tell Uncle Bei I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, wait. I can't give this money back to him. He went on a business trip to Hebei. He's busy. I might not see him for a few years. Hebei? Uncle uh. Bei is there? Uh. That's pretty far from home. Yeah. North of Hinan. Uh. Hello. Yeah, Auntie. Uh, just hold on. <sighs> hey, Ma. Zhang Shang and I are in school now. It's pretty safe here. Oh, that's good. You know what? Someone came over to set up a telephone at the house today. So you don't have to call Mrs. Bay anymore if you want to reach me, okay? That's great, Ma. It'll be easier to talk in the future then. <laughs> yes. Is Zhang Zhang there? Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> hey, Mama. Since you have a telephone, I'm going to call you more often. <laughs> okay then. Zhang Zhang, just focus on your studies. Mama and Papa will get the money, so you won't have anything to worry about. Always listen to your brother, okay? Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, by the way, I put a small pouch in your suitcase. Have you seen it? 
A small pouch? Yeah, it's inside your suitcase. Remember to check what's inside. They're for you and for Liang Shang. All right then. You should get some rest. Oh, okay then. Good night, Ma. Good night, Mama. What pouch could that be? Beats me. This is a lot. She gave us all this money? Mm-hmm. Mama must have done a lot of work secretly. Hey, brother. Why must college be so expensive? I feel bad for Mama. Don't worry too much. I've called the home tutoring service and I'm going to be a tutor now. You just focus on your study and giving Mama and Papa a better future. I can be a home tutor too. Let me help. You can't do that. And why not? Because I want you to enjoy your college life. Just study hard and work towards a better future so you can help others. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi 我是火焰烧起了冷冽而是该放手送你去转泪点只爱不眠